Scene Script. Have you ever wondered how speakers work? Let's dive into the fascinating world of sound to answer that question. Sound, at its core, is a wave. Picture a calm lake. When you toss a pebble in, ripples move across the surface, carrying the energy of that tiny stone's plunge. Sound behaves in a similar way. Instead of water, though, sound travels through air. When you strum a guitar, for example, the strings vibrate. These vibrations push and pull the air around them, creating waves of pressure that spread outwards. These are what we call sound waves. Our ears are like receivers designed to pick up these sound waves. Inside our ears, these waves are converted into electrical signals that our brains interpret as sound, allowing us to hear the music, the laughter, or the rustling leaves. Now let's turn our attention to speakers. What are they exactly? Well, in the simplest of terms, speakers are devices that convert one form of energy into another. They take in electrical energy and convert it into mechanical energy. But wait, what does this mean? Think of a battery. When you connect it to a device, it releases stored electrical energy. In the case of speakers, this electrical energy is transformed into mechanical energy, which means movement. The speaker uses this energy to vibrate, much like the guitar string we mentioned earlier. This vibration then pushes and pulls the air around the speaker, creating sound waves. These sound waves travel through the air until they reach our ears, where they're converted back into electrical signals for our brain to interpret. So you see, speakers aren't just devices that produce sound. They're more like translators, taking the language of electricity and converting it into the language of sound. They allow us to hear the music from our phones, the dialogue from our TVs, and the voices of our loved ones from across the globe. One might say that speakers are translators, converting the language of electricity into the language of sound. At the heart of every speaker, you'll find a magnet and a voice coil. These two components are integral to the speaker's function, each playing a pivotal role in producing the sounds we hear. They work together in harmony, much like a well-orchestrated symphony, with the magnet providing a permanent magnetic field and the voice coil moving within this field to create vibrations we perceive as sound. Let's delve a little deeper into this fascinating process. The magnet, often made from ferrite, neodymium, or alnico, is the static part of this dynamic duo. It creates a steady magnetic field that remains constant, no matter what happens. Think of it as the stage on which the voice coil performs its dance. Now the voice coil is a bit more animated. It's a coil of wire that moves back and forth within the magnetic field created by the magnet. When an electrical audio signal from your device, be it a vinyl record player or a digital music player, travels through this coil, it generates a secondary magnetic field. This secondary field interacts with the permanent field from the magnet, causing the coil to move. This dance of attraction and repulsion between the two magnetic fields is what causes the voice coil to vibrate. And it's these vibrations that are the heart of the sound you hear. They're transferred to the speaker cone, which then moves the air to create the sound waves that reach your ears. So you see, the magnet and the voice coil of a speaker are more than just components. They're more akin to partners in a complex dance, each relying on the other to create the beautiful sounds we enjoy every day. Without the steady presence of the magnet, the voice coil wouldn't have a stage on which to perform its critical role. And without the voice coil's energetic movements, the magnet's field would remain silent and unnoticed. In essence, the magnet and voice coil form the engine that drives the speaker. The voice coil in a speaker dances to the rhythm of the electrical signal it receives. Now let's take a moment to appreciate this intricate dance. You see, the voice coil is a key performer in the symphony of sound production. It's a coil of wire that's wrapped around a cylinder known as the former, and it sits within the magnetic field of the speaker's magnet. When an electrical signal from our audio source reaches the voice coil, it generates a magnetic field. This magnetic field interacts with the static magnetic field of the speaker's magnet. The resulting forces push the voice coil up and down along the magnet's axis. This movement isn't random or chaotic. No, it's a dance that follows the rhythm and melody of the electrical signal. If the signal oscillates quickly, the voice coil moves rapidly, creating high-frequency sound waves. 
If the signal oscillates slowly, the voice coil dances in a slow, graceful motion, producing low-frequency sound waves. But the voice coil doesn't dance alone. It's attached to the speaker cone, an accomplice in the creation of sound. As the voice coil moves, it pushes and pulls the speaker cone along with it. The speaker cone, being larger, displaces more air as it moves, creating pressure waves in the surrounding air. These pressure waves are what we perceive as sound. They travel through the air, reach our ears, and make our eardrums vibrate. Our brain then interprets these vibrations as sound. So every note you hear, every beat you tap your foot to, every dialogue in your favorite movie, they all originate from the dance of the voice coil. The dance of the voice coil is a beautiful choreography of physics and engineering. It's a dance that's unseen but always heard. It's a dance that brings our audio to life, that makes us laugh, cry, dance, and feel. It's a dance that's happening right now in the speakers you're using to listen to this. The voice coil's dance is what breathes life into our music and movies. The speaker cone serves as the messenger of the speaker, delivering the sound to your ears. Imagine the speaker cone as a diligent courier, taking the vibrations from the voice coil and amplifying them into larger sound waves. This is no small feat, as the cone needs to move back and forth swiftly, sometimes several thousand times per second, to faithfully reproduce the sound. The speaker cone operates like a piston. When the voice coil moves forward, it pushes the speaker cone forward as well, compressing the air in front of it. This creates a high pressure area. Conversely, when the voice coil retreats, it pulls the cone back, creating a low pressure area. This alternating pattern of high and low pressure generates sound waves that travel through the air to reach our ears. But the speaker cone doesn't stop at simply creating sound waves. It also influences the quality of the sound we hear. The material used to construct the speaker cone plays a significant role in this. Lighter materials like paper or plastic can respond to the voice coil's movements quickly, producing a clear and detailed sound. However, these materials may lack the rigidity needed to prevent unwanted vibrations, which can distort the sound. On the other hand, more rigid materials like metal or certain types of treated fabric can offer more control and reduce distortion. However, their heavier weight might slow down the cone's response, potentially sacrificing some detail in the sound. As such, speaker manufacturers often need to strike a balance between lightness for detail and rigidity for control when choosing the cone material. The size of the cone also matters. Larger cones can move more air, making them better at producing low-frequency sounds or bass. Smaller cones, in contrast, are better suited for high-frequency sounds or treble. So you see, the speaker cone is a critical component in our audio experience. It's the final step in the journey of converting electrical signals into the music we enjoy. Without the speaker cone, the dance of the voice coil would be a silent ballet. A speaker system is a symphony, with each component playing its part. Let's take a closer look at our orchestra, the speaker system. We have three main performers, the magnet, the voice coil, and the speaker cone. Each of them has a distinct role, yet they all work in harmony to create the sound we hear. First up, we have the magnet. It's the conductor of our orchestra, setting the rhythm and pace. Without it, there would be no motion, no vibration, and consequently, no sound. It creates a magnetic field that interacts with the voice coil, setting it into motion. Next, we have the voice coil. Think of it as the string section of our symphony. It's responsible for the beautiful vibrations that form the basis of the sound we hear. It moves back and forth within the magnetic field created by the magnet, creating vibrations that are then passed on to the speaker cone. Last but not least, we have the speaker cone. This is our brass section, bringing the sound to life. The vibrations from the voice coil are transferred to the speaker cone, which then vibrates, pushing air to create sound waves. These sound waves are what reach our ears as music, speech, or any other sound that a speaker system can produce. Just like in a symphony, each component in a speaker system has its unique part to play, but the real magic happens when they all work together. The magnet sets the rhythm, the voice coil creates the melody, and the speaker cone brings it all to life. It's a fascinating dance of physics and technology, resulting in the sounds that fill our world. 
Just remember, the next time you're listening to your favorite song or watching a movie, there's a miniature symphony playing inside your speaker system, bringing those sounds to life. Just like a symphony, a speaker system is a harmonious blend of components, each playing its part to create the beautiful music that we hear.